Several graduates who received their certificates today at the Cyril Potter College of Education's 83rd graduation exercise expressed eagerness to impart their newfound knowledge to their students. The graduates came from all over the country to undergo their two-year training. One such graduate is mother of two, Lana George, who teaches at the Martindale Nursery School in the Pomeroon. For the past two years, it was very strenuous as a mother, as you rightly said. Um, it was tough. Um, I used to admire those single single tr uh, teachers because they have all the time, but I used to, uh, I had to struggle through night and day, sometimes like 3 o'clock, I'm going to bed just to um, finish all my assignments and courses and so. And at the last of it, the last semester was very, very tough. Like I almost gave up, but thank God I pulled through and um, I was able to graduate with the credit. I'm a teacher in the Palm Room at Martindale Nursery. And um, I plan to, to incorporate all the knowledge gained in my classroom. Um, I've learned so much about uh, child development theories and so, and it helps me to better understand the kids that I'm dealing with and so. CPC so far has been doing a good job, the government also, and um, I will just uh, encourage them to invest more in teachers because we're the ones who uh, model the children. Paul Newton, one of the few male graduates, also shared his experience with InfoHub. I'm a father as well as a, as a husband. You know, I had to provide for my family as well as study, you know. But by the grace of Almighty God, I, I persevered, you know, and I, I stood up and I faced those challenges, you know, with the help of and encouragement of my friends. As a trained graduate teacher, you know, my ambition or my desire is to encourage my students to persevere you know, to strive diligently by the grace of Almighty God to, to tap into the potential and ability that God has given to them, you know. And my duty as a, as a teacher is to facilitate them or to guide them in, 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 um, in knowing their God-given ability and also help, you know, just mentor them in the part of that they can achieve excellence in their life. Since I'm a science teacher and I, I'm, I'm a physics teacher as well, I teach physics, you know, one thing I like to see in the in the education sector is more equipment, more science equipment, especially for physics. I mean, we don't have much science teacher, uh, physics teacher in the school, but um, you know, one thing I like, I like to see as well is that teachers are maybe paid better, you know, they are remembered or they are um, rewarded for the hard work, you know, if they can have like maybe, I mean, we now have a war ceremony that occurs yearly and that's good. But teachers, you know, teachers need to be encouraged, we need to be supported, because it's not easy, you know, we have challenges. Sally Ramnoth, an English major, is thankful for her new friends gained amidst the training. My experience in CPC was a really productive one. I really had fun for my two years. I also met an incredible amount of people. Um, so I didn't really encounter much challenges because the friends that I had, I know they always had my back, but the teachers and the lecturers there, they also had you. They're like, they were like my spine, if you may, right? They said teachers mold the nation, and I guess my English teacher that I had in school, he would have influenced me very much to become an English teacher, and that would have been since I was 14 years old. So I'm now living the dream as a teacher, and I really encourage everybody that teaching, don't come in it for the money. Come in it because you love it. Come in it because you love children, because that's what you're going to have to deal with every day. I would like to see parents paying a more keen attention to their children's education. I find that parents are, I'm, I don't know if you're busy, but don't expect that all the work is to be on the teacher alone, right? Because everybody has their part to play. Another thing, um, well, the Ministry of Education, I, th I think they're doing a fairly good job, but if they can just up the facilities, bring up the facilities that we have. I mean, yes, you're asking us to use ICT in a classroom, but yet there's not a projector there, there is not a proper laboratory, there's, you know? So if we have these things available, yes, teaching, children will want to come and, and learn. For Info Hub, Delicia Haynes.